Hi guys, welcome to this video about KeyPass, the uh, password manager with, which is available for free on SourceForge and yeah, it's open open source and you can have it for free and it works pretty well. I mean, it's one of the better password managers which is for free that's for sure but it's actually not perfect as well so it's something in between um yeah i mean i have been using that this password manager since a couple of years and it has always been working pretty good or let's say most of the time so it was quite reliable i've never seen any data breaches or something like that which is uh, of course really important uh, if you have if you use something dealing with uh, passwords you don't want to use doubtful apps um, to store your password because everything could be gone if there's a problem with that so uh, actually I was quite happy with this tool since I'm using it except for a couple of complaints. I mean, it's actually supposed to support automatic uh, fill in. I mean, when you have, uh, when you go to a new website and it's supposed to enter your username and password automatically. I never got this to really work. I've tried it a couple of times, never re uh, really worked for me. When I compare it to, let's say, Dashlane, of course you have to pay for, um, I mean, there's a new, uh, a free version too from Dashlane, but I'm using the, um, yeah, the paid version, which is more capable, of course. But there, the automatic, um yeah username and password uh aut automatic fill in works definitely way better there at least as far as my experience was uh one of the, the complaints i had with key key pass i mean the passwords and everything are stored in a file uh, either local or cloud or wherever you have it i mean of course it has to be some somehow local but it can be a, a local copy of the cloud um but you have to be careful of course you have to protect this thing very good i mean anyway the thing is i had it in this about two years that the data uh, I mean the file where passwords and everything is stored uh, got corrupted. I mean sometimes it got deleted. It's for some reason it just went away and sometimes it went corrupted so I couldn't use it anymore. Um, but luckily I'm using some kind of backup every day so nothing got lost. But um, yeah, it could be careful. Uh, it could be could be dangerous, and you have to be careful about this thing. So uh, you definitely have to do frequent backups. Based on my experience, you have to be uh, yeah uh, aware of that. That you could lose everything if you don't make regular backups on the file where this thing is stored and the last thing which i'm complaining a little bit is too many updates i mean i like when uh, software is kept up to date and all the problems are fixed uh, right away and this is probably the problem here if they find anything which could lead to a security issue they are probably going to fix but Anyway, I mean, for me, it's a little bit too much. Um, almost every time, or let's say every every other time I start using this software, it asks me to update to a new version, which is a real hassle and not super easy as well. And I mean, of course, what's my major complaint? It has, uh, it poses a big risk that you update it with a wrong version. I mean, a dash lane, uh, 
uh, for example it doesn't request you to go to a website and download something and then run it and install and 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 so on you just click you decide if you want to update or not and it does it in the background so there's no risk that you are misguided to a wrong server download wrong product and the download is infected with virus or trojan horses or whatsoever so i'm showing you how this works when you start your software and like the uh, the key key pass and it asks you for an update you will uh, i mean it will uh, lead you to this website and then you have to find out what you need i mean of course usually you need the latest release and then you would click probably on that and then you have to find out where can you get it probably there are many links here one of the links is here and then you get to another page and you have another four at least four options or even more and then you have to find out what you need uh, you need the old version or new version or portable or installer or what, what, what you need and there's always a risk i mean yeah maybe even something could pop up and you click on that and you never know i mean it's a little bit it's a little bit of hassle and it's a little bit of extra risk uh, yeah just i just wanted to let you know about that if you decide on a password manager if i uh, would choose now i definitely would i think i would uh, stay away from key pass at all yeah would I, yeah it's it's hard to tell i mean i have some things which i uh i i mean i like the key pass for that reason because i can put a lot of uh, unstructured data into that which i cannot uh on dash lane dash lane is uh what it is it has its fields and when you have used them up they yeah you can't store more data than that and here in the key pass it's almost unlimited data which you can store sometimes you want to store a lot of unstructured data and then it can be an advantage of course i'm still using it and for the real passwords i'm using more the dash lane but uh, you have to decide for your own um what you want to use i just wanted to let you know the keep key pass is a good thing i love it uh, but it has some serious issues uh yeah especially regarding updates and you have to make sure that you back up your uh backup i mean your um pro password file every day uh, or at least very frequently so that it doesn't get lost so that's it for now i hope i was able to help you a little bit with that if you have if you have any questions or comments just write to the comment section below and i'm always happy to talk about these things and if you like the video give me a thumbs up subscribe my channel thanks for watching and see you next time